Hey, welcome back everyone to another great episode of Sell Those Flippin' Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, the long-awaited video of the transmission filter replacement on the 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm Zachary with Sell Those Flipping Cars and in today's episode we're replacing the transmission filter on the Chrysler Town & Country. Now I went ahead and ordered this on, <laughs> on Amazon so I'm going to throw the video, uh, I'm going to throw the link in the video description down below. Okay, it also comes with the chart and I had to order the dipstick as well. Guys, uh, if you do not know where to actually put your transmission dipstick in your Chrysler Town & Country, I'm going to throw the link in the upper right hand corner right now showing you how to check your transmission fluid in your uh, Chrysler Town & Country. Alright, so today we are going to replace the transmission filter. This does come with the gasket as well so you don't have to worry about that. We're going to replace that, then we're going to fill up our uh, transmission again with uh, new fluid and then check it with our new transmission dipstick. Guys, if you need any of these parts, I'm going to throw them in the video link uh, description down below. That way you know where to find them. But enough talk about it, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it, okay? Hey guys, all right, now we're all jacked up. Make sure that uh, when you're jacking up your vehicle, you do chalk block the back, okay? You don't want this thing rolling on you because uh, you can get severely injured, okay? Next, we're gonna go ahead and get out our creeper and I'm gonna take you guys below and uh, we're gonna see what we got. Hang tight. All right, guys, here we are below the vehicle. You got two pans down here. You got one on the right, right here. 
Hold on just a second, guys. All right, here we go, guys. So we got two uh, pans down here. You have one on the left, which is this one, and one on the right, which is this one. Which one's which? Easy way to tell is there's a drain plug on the one on the left. See that? There's a drain plug, that's your oil pan. Okay, the one on the right is your transmission pan. There is no drain plug. This is gonna get a little messy, so you need a drip pan. And it looks like we need a 10. Let's go ahead and check that. All right, as you can see, I have my drip pan set up. Right below the transmission pan, it is an eight millimeter bolt uh, that is holding that thing in. So I have my eight millimeter hooked up to my, my drill. I'm gonna go ahead, zip it off, and uh, go ahead and get this thing replaced. Here we go. All right, the transmission pan is off. As I said, it's gonna make a mess. As you see, uh, a little a little tip. When you have your uh, drip pan, have it near the back. The uh, rear um, of the transmission pan, okay? The, the furthest part away from you. Because that's where most of the fluid's gonna come out and that's where I got it all over the floor. But that's okay, that's why we have kitty litter or uh, dry sweep, whatever you use. That way you can get that cleaned up. All right, so I'm gonna take this uh, pan now, and go ahead and clean off the old gasket, clean off the old gasket uh, around the, uh, the transmission gasket uh, on the transmission as well. Make sure that's all cleaned off. Hey, you see right here, it looks like we're gonna need an Allen key to uh, take out the uh, transmission filter. So let me see what size that is and I'll be right back. All right, so that thing is in there pretty solid in the neck piece, uh, especially since it's been in there for a while. Let me show you guys real quick. All right, you see this piece right here? That's what it's stuck in. Now you have a torque, a T25 screw here. And here, do not loosen this one off. You don't need to, okay? So here I'm looking at the transmission pan. I was wanting to know why um, it seemed like I had a leak coming from the transmission. Well, I did. It was coming from the transmission pan. And just like your engine, a uh, common leak is the oil pan because people do repairs like this. This isn't the gasket, this is RTV. So it means somebody came in here, tried to fix it really cheap instead of spending 20, 25 bucks on the new transmission filter and gasket. So I'm gonna clean all this off with a putty knife uh, wipe it down, get the new gasket uh, prepared to be put on there and reinstall. So, also, guys, a very important part when it, it comes to your transmission transmissions are just like engines. The viscosity of your uh, transmission fluid changes how you are going to shift. 
And a lot of people think it's because, oh, my transmission's going out. It's not shifting good. But they totally forget about the transmission filter and the fluid. So you are on the right track to having smooth shifts and beautiful roads. So <laughs> let's finish this up. All right, guys, if you're looking at the transmission, uh, you see I went ahead and took the bracket off. I took it off because the seal needs to come out, okay? Your new transmission filter comes with a new seal, so it'd be wise to put your new seal in uh, while you have it here, okay? Use a seal puller uh, to get that out, the one that looks like... <sighs> Hold on. Use your seal puller to pull out the uh, seal to the, the transmission, okay? Just like that, you can pick it up at Harbor Freight, Amazon, you can pick it up anywhere. <clears throat> Let's get back under here. All right, so that's the seal you wanna take out. We got our new one right here. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take some of this transmission fluid use it as a lubricant just gonna put it around there a little get the good stuff yeah get the good stuff that's just leaking out okay you see how you want to put it around the edge there then you want to put it in there and just watch it go away from you get here we go all right All right, the new gasket is in. Dipstick uh, holder is also back in. Now it's time to put the transmission filter back in. Tighten the T25 torque bolts down, the two, the one that goes here, and the one that goes here, okay? And then you can put the uh, gasket with the transmission pan back on Remember, uh, all the bolts that are running the outside of the transmission pan are eight millimeter, okay? Once we do that, we can go ahead and lower the van and uh, it'll be time to fill up the transmission fluid. Guys, hey, if you are liking this video and this video is helping you change your transmission filter in your Chrysler Town & Country, smash the subscribe button over here, okay? Uh, also, if you like the video and it's helping you out, hit the like button. Subscribing and liking the videos, tell YouTube and myself that I'm doing a good job with the videos and you like the content, you wanna see more of it. So when I see that, I wanna make more content for you guys. Also, don't forget that you can leave questions comments in the comment section down below so if you have any questions about this repair don't forget to leave them down below all right all right so i'm gonna go ahead and throw this transmission filter back in throw the pan back on and uh get this van down so we can go ahead and uh, add the fluid back so here we go guys all right, so the van's back on the ground now. Go ahead and remove your uh, big plastic piece on top of your engine. It's going to give you more room to work. Uh, down here, X marks the spot, guys. Right below it is your transmission uh, dipstick spot, okay? So what you're going to do... Is what the dealer wanted was for them to be the only one to work on it. You see that? 
Hold on just a second, guys. Oh man, that doesn't want to focus at all. All right, well, on the end there, it'll say for dealer use only. Trying to get to focus in, but it just won't, guys. All right, for dealer use only. That's why there was no drain plug on the transmission pan. It's because this is supposed to be a quote-unquote maintenance-free transmission. Uh, that's what they call it, even though Chrysler says every 100,000 miles, you need to replace your transmission filter. Now, how are you supposed to do that uh, if, if it has no drain plug and you don't have a dipstick? Well, you have to take it to the dealership, and they're the only ones that can do it. So, uh, this is the way for you to do it without taking it to the dealership you already replaced the transmission filter you uh emptied out the transmission fluid now we have to add it back so you're going to need a long a long funnel okay and you're gonna stick that right in there okay yes it's a terrible terrible spot nah yeah, but that's Chrysler. They want to do it because they want you to go to the dealership. So you're going to pour slowly, okay? Remember, when you're checking your transmission fluid, the vehicle needs to be in neutral and it has to be running, okay? Do not put it in park. Do not put it in drive. Reverse, nothing. Neutral and it has to be running. Do not rev it up. It just has to idle. You come up here. You check your transmission fluid and you do it until on your sheet, it'll say go down to, here we go guys, Chrysler Town and Country. You're going to go over 2008 to 2015. Yes, that's our engine. It's the 3.6 liter. It's going to be chart B, chart Bravo. That's the one you want to go for. Jeez, what is up with this thing focusing today? All right, remember, this thing comes with your dipstick. So chart B will put us right up here, okay? Maximum is about 48 okay minimum is about 33 okay so let's go ahead and open up our dipstick guys let me put you on the tripod so i can use both hands here okay hold on just a second there we go Open up this dipstick real quick so I can show you guys the numbers that are on it. Now, if you already purchased your dipstick to do your uh, transmission fluid uh, testing, then you've probably already seen the, uh, the numbers that are on the dipstick itself. or you're waiting this entire time for the video to come out. And uh, if you were, thank you so much, guys. I'm so happy that you guys wanted to wait for it. All right, so here's your dipstick. You're going to want in between 32 and 48. See on there, you have all your numbers, okay? 32 and 48. Here's your 30. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and fill it up and then we can go ahead and check the transmission fluid. Let's see where we're at, guys, okay? 
All right, guys, so there you have it. The 2014 Chrysler Town & Country transmission filter replacement is now complete, and you are good to go. Uh, remember, the transmission dipstick is for testing purposes only. That's why it's so super long. It doesn't fit all the way in there. You're supposed to test it and get it out, okay? No problem. Make sure you go off the chart that was sent with the dipstick so you have the correct amount of transmission fluid. Uh, thank you so much for actually tuning in today and checking out today's video. If today's video actually helped you guys change the transmission filter in your Chrysler Town & Country, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the like button so YouTube knows that I'm doing a good job and giving you guys some content that's worth a crap. Alright? So hey, thank you so much again guys. I'm Zachary with Sell Those Flippin' Cars. Make sure you tune in. I got some great episodes coming up. Uh, we're getting rid of the, the Taurus, uh, so we're going to be cleaning that up, getting a new project in here. Uh, the head gasket was completed just uh, last night, and I uh, went ahead and uh, did some tuning this morning uh, before I did the, uh, the town and country. So, guys, so many episodes coming up. I'm, I'm really excited about it, and I hope you're excited about it, too. So, if you're looking for more auto DIY videos, this is the place for you guys. Make sure you hit subscribe and tune in for the next episode. So, until next time, keep on wrenching, guys. Take care.